When the Lady of the Lake appeared in a dream to Tristan le Troubadou, the questing knight departed on a mission of utmost importance. A treacherous knight named Artrinique had sold his loyalty to the neighboring Sigmarite Empire. He had in his possession documents with highly sensitive information that could be used to instigate great division amongst the nobles of Bretonia and fracture the unity of the region for years to come. Tristan Le Troubadou journeyed with his objective clear and guided by the divine intervention of the Lady of the Lake. It was at the Battle of Montfort that Tristan found his prey. For reasons still unknown to most, the Imperial General von Abrechicht marshaled his troops and hired sellswords and mercenaries to march against Montfort, resulting in a cruel battle between Bretonia and the Empire. Tristan arrived at the height of the conflict that had both sides fiercely contesting the battlefield. It was in the middle of the fighting lines that Tristan found the traitor knight. He was amongst the Imperial army. The questing knight charged forward. During the battle, Tristan was unable to reach Artrenique amidst the chaos of the carnage. Every time he reached closer to his enemy, the tide and flow of the battle changed, pushing him away from his goal. The battle raged on for hours, and there was still no decisive winner. It was until the timely intervention of the Duke of Perovon and his reinforcements that saved the day for the remaining Bretonian army, and forced the Imperial army to retreat back to Reichland, Artrenique amongst them. After the fierce battle of Montfort, the fields were soaked with the blood of more than 6,000 men that perished on that day. The Imperial Army was in full retreat going through Axbite Pass, when they were intercepted by a small pursuing force of questing knights led by Tristan Le Troubadou. 
fighting against an Imperial force four times their size, the Valiant Knights charged, and against all odds, won the day. The Reichlanders fled in disarray. This event was later named the Impossible Victory. As the Knights chased the fleeing Imperial troops, Tristan retrieved the documents from Otranique's corpse and burnt them to ashes in the spot without ever glancing at their contents. His mission was complete. On this channel, we are putting together narrative Total War cinematic battles and Warhammer lore videos. A special thank you goes to our Patreon supporters who help us in the making of more content. You can also directly support the channel through Patreon, find the link in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button to be the first to watch the next video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.